This video is mostly meant to be a review of what we've done in the previous videos, but main new thing I want to introduce are the NumPy array methods, any and all. And so to start out, let's make a NumPy array of random real numbers between 0 and 1. So it's not integers, it's real numbers, so we have to use a different rng function, and I guess I need to define rng, and p.random.defaultrng. And then instead of integers, which is what we've been using recently, we're going to use random. Okay, and this one, it doesn't take a low or a high input argument. All it takes is size. So size equals 100 by 4. Okay, there we go. Maybe in a different video, we'll talk about how to get it to print a little nicer than this. But for now, this is fine. And let's call it ARR. Okay, and so I guess that's all I needed to do in that first part. Now I want to find what are all the rows in ARR that contain at least one number that's bigger than 0 0.9. So let's just display ARR, or let's display how about the first five rows of ARR. Okay, and then let's also display ARR colon 5 bigger than 0 0.9. And so we get this array of the same shape. It's what's called a Boolean array. And there's only one true in this array so far. And it corresponds to this number, because this is the only one of what we can see that's bigger than 0 0.9. Okay, great. And then let's just keep that. And I want to know, is at, for each row, is at least one of the values true in this Boolean array? And so how we can do that is we can say dot any. Okay, because I want to know is at least one of them true. And here I'm going to specify an axis argument. And I want to go this direction, so along the columns direction. And so that's axis equals 1. If we were going this way, it would be axis equals 0. Okay, and so this is saying, yes, there was such a value in the first row, or the zeroth row, depending on how you count. And no, there wasn't in the next row. Okay, that's this false, and so on. And so if we wanted to count how many there were, we could do, for example, dot sum, and that would say there's just one of these five. If we want to get the sub array, then I can do ARR square brackets and then get rid of the sum. Okay, and then let's do it with colon five to start out. So this is saying, among these five rows, keep the first one, okay, because of this true, and discard the next four. Okay, so all it has kept is this initial row. Okay, and then once we've done that, then it's the exact same to get it for the full, full original array that's length 100. I can just, actually it'll look a little easier once I get rid of this. I can get rid of these slices that got me just the first five rows. And so these are all the rows that have at least one number that's bigger than 0 0.9. So for example, that one's bigger than 0 0.9, that one's bigger than 0 0.9, and so on. Okay, and then this next part, it's going to be really similar. Only difference is that I want none of the numbers to be between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So let's try that. So let's find what are the good numbers? So we want either to be less than 0 0.4. Okay, we're happy if that happens. Or we want it to be bigger than 0 0.6. And I don't really care about equals or not in this case, because we're talking about random real numbers, and it's never going to be exactly 0 0.4 or exactly 0 0.6. Okay, and I want to have an or here. But remember that when we're working with NumPy arrays, you shouldn't write out the word. You should use the symbol. And do you remember what the symbol is for OR? It's this vertical line. And then what do we want? We want the subarray of ARR where every entry, so we want all the rows in ARR where every entry satisfies this. Every entry is either less than 0 0.4 or bigger than 0 
So instead of using dot any, we can use dot all. Can again x is equals one because we're plugging in a row like this. Okay, and do you know what the length is of this? It's length 100 because there's one of these booleans for each row. And if I want to actually see those rows, then I can plug in. So this is what's called indexing or boolean indexing. So this is saying, give me all the rows of ARR that satisfy this condition, okay, or whatever this condition is. So it's the condition that's saying none of the values are between 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So if you scroll through this, you shouldn't see any values that begin 0 0.4 or begin 0 0.5. All of them should be in either smaller than 0 0.4, uh, like, like this one, or bigger than 0 0.6, like this one. 